And now, a question for the philosopher Chicken. Before you hear this, I should warn you that if you disagree with the following comments, you might be tagged with the label heterophobe. That seems to be what happens when anyone disagrees with a position. They automatically become some kind of phobe or ist, as in racist. It seems to be an effective means of discrediting people with opposing positions. So, we might as well try it here. The homosexual and liberal communities apparently believe marriage is a constitutional right and that no group in our society, widely called homophobes, can deny homosexuals the right to marry. So, let's all play nice and agree that homosexual marriage is a right. That's fine. But if that is the case, then can we assume that no one in our society has the ability to deny the marriage right to any of the following groups either? Brother marrying brother, sister marrying sister, brother marrying sister, or parent marrying child. What about adult marrying child? Is there not then a constitutional right for an adult to marry a child of any age or sex? Why should an arbitrary age of consent be enforced if it would stand in the way of a couple's constitutional right to marry or happiness? Are we not also trampling on a person's right to be happy by denying him or her the right to consume adult beverages before a certain arbitrarily set age? Can't the same be said for illegal drugs? Apparently, it is okay to draw lines somewhere. The question is, where? Should the criteria be a subjective concept, such as meaningful love and degree of happiness, that may change with the shifting tides of public sentiment? Or should the line be drawn at an objective measurable criteria, such as opposite sex matches theoretically capable of generating offspring and raising them with role models for each sex? Just because it has been done that way for millennia, does not mean it is a bad idea. Your thoughts? Welcome to the land of the slippery slope.